This is our latest addition to our off-grid power. We recently picked up a MEP 802A 5 kilowatt military generator from a government auction. It's running and producing power, so we ordered a radiator off of eBay. Today we're going to change that out because the overflow fitting was broke off and we got it. We've added to our generator room a little lean-to for it. Bought these casters off of eBay. They're really, I'm very satisfied with them to make this generator mobile. We're following the instructions from the maintenance manual. And also I'd like to say, if you're interested in one of these, I would do a lot of research on stillsoldiers.com, uh, the forum. There's a lot of good information there, a lot of smart people who know a lot about these generators. 10 millimeter. Some ex-military people, all different types of people. There's a lot of new guys like me, but it's a good community to go learn. Eight millimeter. You know you got a good wife when she's out here helping you work on your military surplus generator like this. Well, this one has two nut, I mean, two washer things on it, and that one doesn't have them. You put it on that one. I'll do it. Just pass it to me. Where's that thing? Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's bound in there, too. <coughs> oh, that's probably in one of my buckets upstairs. Oh, there it comes. Yeah, it was just hot. And heat it up. There we go. And there's something just fell off this right here. Yeah, that's the gasket. Oh, delicious. You want to... Some straw came from the south. These are some smalls. Yeah. Women can play with tools. Yep. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun putting a puzzle. We can get to those top fan shrouds and easy now. Yeah. I better have some pretty good mechanic. Daddy, I found a pretty rock. And we just removed the fan shroud, unbolted it. Got it. All right. I 
had a little trouble with the radiator hose coming off the radiator, so I just un disconnected it from the water pump to get it out. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Let's see. I tried to JB weld this a copper pipe. Stick some JB weld on there. I'm going to take this and get it professionally fixed. Bagged and tagged. Sort of. <laughs> That's our chief building inspector. Inspecting our new lean to. This isn't like taking an old Chevy radiator out. This is a lot of bolts and you gotta remove the top enclosure, but it's not too bad. To get all these lined up top. You need to keep these four underneath the radiator loose so you can slide them up and down, adjust them up and down. You been out hiking? Got you some sticks for your campfire? Cool. You gonna make you a, a TP style campfire? Squirrel, deer, and a fish. You can have squirrel, fish, deer soup. You can make a soup. Squirrel, fish, deer soup. Let's get there. Zip bags work good. I didn't know how to spell it. That's why we were a question mark. Yeah, that's all right. You want to do the shield or? No. Oh, I see. Here's your tin. Yeah, that That's what all, all the fuss has been about. It's to connect this hose right there. Mm -hmm. Must have used to be a green one. Yeah, probably originally were painted green. There you go. I'm gonna put this bracket back on, and that'll be it. One thing I like about this generator is that you can uh, connect it to an auxiliary fuel tank. It's got an auxiliary fuel pump on it. That's a plus. Got it on four isolator pads that I got that help with vibration. Just doing my initial adjustments and getting it ready to hook up to the connect to our off-grid house. My next video I'll show how all that turned out.